All right, now, how about March Madness of the medical kind? Today is match day for medical students around the area. And Kimberly Suters takes us now to Howard University, where exciting news was delivered. Brendan Anderson. This is the day they earned the long white coat. <laughs> it's nervous excitement. The initials MD. Uh, I haven't slept much in the past four years. And the sealed letter stating where they'll spend the next three to five years as medical residents. They say that this little envelope changes a young doctor's life forever. But for Alicia and James, that earth shattering change has already happened. Class President James Mann is cloaked by his mentor. Congrats, man. Yeah, thanks, I appreciate it. And not his mother. He lost her to a sudden heart attack in December. It's only coincidence he planned all along to be a cardiologist. I uh, want to be one more now, so yeah. Yeah, number one killer of uh, women, heart disease. So. You cannot cry. <laughs> you cannot cry. Alicia Williams, too, wishes her father could witness this moment. Yeah, that's my dad. He died six years ago in a car crash. Alicia believes their losses will make them more compassionate physicians. I'm actually positive. I think that now I know that there's nothing that I can't do. I've survived four years of medical school without him physically being here, so I don't think there's anything that I can't accomplish now. Not that the dream is perfect. <laughs> Alicia will be close to her Baltimore home, if not in it. But the dean tells the students any match is a good match. James and his soon-to-be fiance Marlisa White take that literally, going to Ohio State together. The new best day of my life. Yes. <laughs> In Northwest, Kimberly Suters, ABC7 News.